Hello folks, here's more games involving crying green men who are the size of planets and that, from the Ludum Dory 47 game jam, all on the theme of Stuck in a Loop. Check the playlist for more in the series, and remember to subscribe to Randomised User, um, and click the bell to be notified about future vids. Now this is Cosmos Runda. He says it right there. And you basically planet hop um, by controlling your planet through different orbits. Uh, so I'm going to position myself there. I'm going to hold the button and go up uh, across there. Do that again. And basically you mustn't hit anything or fly off into the deepest depths of space. So let's do that again, avoiding the little missile poos. Oh no, the lips! The flaming bloody lips. Right, let's, uh, let's try and make our way over here. Across to here. Oh, hello. New solar system. Oh, dicks! Ooh. Well, that, that um, edge of forever I was talking about. Ugh. This time, get into the- Oh! Oh, there we go. Now, this is a surprising amount of fun considering how spoopy it looks, but- Oh my god, okay, so this is- Oh! 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 Oh no, the, the lips! This is kind of like a game that does reward patience, rather than flapping about. You really gotta line up your shots carefully. You can take your time once you're actually activating your jump thing. Just wait for the right moment, because there's a lot out there that wants to kill you. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any checkpoints, at least not so far. So, you got to be careful. Oh my god, there's a lot of planets. Oh, over there. Oh, ooh, that was close. Ooh, lips. Ooh, go. I don't know where I'm going. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tits. Oh, <laughs> As much as I like this, it's very frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, cool otherwise. This is Sorrow Borrow. This is a looping platform game. All you have to do each time is hit the switch and go in there. Uh, most of the time you'll loop back to the beginning. However, if you go in uh, the door at the right time, indicated by the four times at the top, you will go somewhere else. And so on, really. Um, kill you. I think, from what I remember, I think it's the third one on this first level you have to go into. So just wait for these to clear out the way. But it takes a while to loop round. Right, down on third. There we go. And the level's changed a little bit. We have not looped round. Excellent stuff. So I don't know where we have to go in this time, so... Oh, that appears to be... We've, we've come to a new destination. We've also got a new enemy. If you die once, well, you have, you have to start again, so it's best to do well. Actually, now what do we do? Um... We may have to go over here. Oh, how, did, how are we going to get past here? Ooh. So what happens if in the second level we go in on the first one? Oh, we just go back to the first level. Now we're here again, so do not go on the third. Um, or the fourth. Or the first? Well, let's wait for the second one. Let's, um, let's rule that one out. Only the ones on the right can actually hurt us at the moment. Nope, this takes us back to the level 1 again. It looks like there's only going to be one exit per level. How do we get out of here? Okay, here's what we'll do. Here we go, there we go. Use the explosions. Oh, now which one do I go in? I'm going to try this one, number 2. Oh, that's just taking us back to the same level. Oh, no, it's taking us back in time to this... T uh. Alright. Right, so maybe number one? Oh, I, did, I, I, I accidentally went in there, but I'm... Oh. Okay, that's fine. Right, what was it? One, wasn't it? Possibly. Yes, this is different. So three, four, one has been the, the pattern so far. This is really unforgiving, this game. <laughs> because you slide all over the place. It's just so hard to turn and everything, but... Ugh. I'm going to moan. Now, see, I need to go off the left. And, or the right and go off, come on the left. Now this is the hard, these, that's the hardest bit whenever you have to go up like that. So I reckon two this time. If it's not... Oh, I've gone back! Three, four, one... Okay, so let's... Let's eliminate them one by one, so this is going to be a one. Well, that just takes us back to level one. Three. Yes! And there we go. You have navigated the time loop and escaped the temple. Thanks for playing. Oh, thank God for that. I, was <laughs> I thought I tried every single combination there, but finally cracked it. It's a really slick little game. This is unscripted. You're a robot in some kind of post-apocalyptic landscape, and you need some work to, to do, and you haven't found it yet. I must find work! Right, so point and click. Let's go and grab whatever this is. 
What is this device? I must examine it. So, we can go into inventory, right click, an unknown device, usage unknown, compatibility unknown. Well, that's no good, is it? Let's go and talk to the small robot. K4, K4! Must find, must find! Find you! Hi! Hi, robot. K4. Yes, K4, that's my name. There's an oil pump. Right, let's go to the warehouse. Ooh, you're a big bugger. Warehouse robot. Wee wee! Ugh, it farted. Inside hurts. Missing part. Well, let's grab a little hammery poos. Useful hammer. Well, let's um let's grab the hammer. And try and smash this. K4 smash! And we have ourselves a sprocket. It's almost like I've done this before. Do you want the sprocket? Dry, dry, wee! Hmm. So he won't be able to accept that. Ooh, look. Welding robot. It's basically Bender. <laughs> I must I work non-stop. Must work faster. So what are these then? Vessels. Vessel acquired. Vessel good. Compatible with liquid. Well, the only liquid we've seen so far was that oil back on the first screen. So let's try, and I don't actually know if this works or not. Let's try to see if that helps. Oil gathered? Right, let's try and dip. Or maybe the other way around. Oh, there we go. Oil applied to sprockets. And this might... Come back! Give it to him. Give him a wet sprocket. Yes! Yes! Working fully operational. Thank you. Wait. I give Chip. Chip, help work faster. The computer operator. Computer processing. Internal error. Missing hardware. Well, we've got a chip. A performance chip, so maybe. Let's have a word with him. K4, go work! What my work? I'm a raid computer! Well, let's see. Computer processing. Miss it's still missing hardware. Is there any way we can... Maybe it is something to do with the lever. Maybe we need to repair the lever then. Oh, here we go. Yep, so I'm giving it to him. He wants the chip. Wait! I give hard drive. No need hard drive. You use it. Aha! Searching porn. Hard drive accepted. Computer system activated. Computer processing. Functional. Proceed with work. Let's have a look. Let's have a poke at the lever. Oh my god, I've blown up the world. Lever activated. Oh, I'm crushing robots in the dist in the background. Oh no. No! Cannot be true! My my work! I execute, I eliminate fellow robots. Ooh. Chevalier twist. This cannot be my work! This is your work. Now work faster. I destroy souls. Cannot operate. Cannot operate. Uh oh. He just scratched himself. And it was all a dream? Or was it? <laughs> it's brutal. This is Paper Planes, another one that can be described a bit like Snake with a Twist. But you're perpetually followed by yourself going along the same trails that you went previously so you've got to be careful not to collide into yourself and slowly but surely you'll get more and more lads who will get in your way like that uh, they do have a, a shelf life though so uh, you don't need to worry about them indefinitely i don't think they do seem to eventually run out um, you can also loop around the place which is handy oh ah the ones that are really close to the um, spawn point are definitely the hardest because that's where most of the action will have taken place and most of the lads will congregate the nasty red barons that flap around literally all over the place right get you a lot of people actually have already in the in the comments of the on the ludum diary page pointed out this would actually be an excellent little mobile game i can see why oh my god that was close <laughs> and the screen is now getting absolutely beyond all uh, <laughs> understanding I mean, it depends. I mean, if you really sort of like take it easy on the on the on your tours around the place, um, you can actually make it a lot easier for yourself. But um, unfortunately, that makes it a much slower game as well. And if you really want to go for the, the the high scores fast, you really have to put yourself in the danger zone, possibly some kind of highway to there. Oh God, I can't. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. This that that I'm just insane. How how am I going to get that one? <laughs> That's just I'm just going to stay here for a bit. Holding pattern. This is known as. Uh oh. 
So they can't... See, it is worth pointing out, they can't loop around. Oh my god! <laughs> so you can use that to your advantage, and then just, like, hide away somewhere, but... They're relentless, they never stop, so you are probably going to be doomed eventually, no matter what you do. This is Hack and Loop, a very tough little action game where you have to hit like that, and dodge like that. And you essentially have to kill enough of the lads for the um, the purple line in the middle, which you haven't even we haven't seen much of yet, to fill up and open us up to the next room, which will be the same room, but we'll have power-ups. So if you use your dash, you can also um, get some of those kind of like purple things to actually do some damage for you, but... Oh god, I'm already down to 65. This is about, um, like, computer viruses and stuff like that, and hacking, and blah blah blah, really, but it's all about the, like, the, the cool neon effects, really. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm really le letting too many lads live here. Now, funny enough, it's the, um, uh, the crap boxes. Oh, dicks. Well, that's me finished. Uh, the, the actual crap boxes are probably harder than the really big lads. Managed one loop there. Someone on the high score table had 33. From what I can tell, the strategy does seem to be wait for them to fire twice and then go after them. Oh, I'm getting got. And we're doing a bit better this time. But sometimes it's really tough to actually hit the buggers. Oh, got hit by one there. Finally, we've managed to complete a loop. In we go. And... Let's see, I either can choose the left-hand one, more health for you, but more health for enemies, or bullet hell, better dash for you, more bullets for enemies. Ooh. I'll get the better dash. So this is loop two, so I've officially scored two points. whoop de bloody do Ooh. that get you. So I'm guessing this is now, they're now going to have three shots instead of two. Yeah, that's right, okay. Oh, bloody hell, though, they, they ch recharge quite... Oh, what was that? Oh, it's, okay, it's you. You've arrived. Okay, stay away from it before it blows up. There's my special dash thing. Or at least I think it's a special dash thing. It might just be trying to kill me. I don't <laughs> Never quite worked out which was which. Anyway, get rid of you. I'm really, really low on health. Huh! Really low on health. I've got five. All right, wait for you to shoot. Go! Get stuck in! Shoot. I forgot the pattern correct. Yes! See what um, bonuses we get here, then. We get a tiny bit of health back. Fully heals me. But spawn one more boomer. Oh, I can cope with that. The boomers don't seem to be particularly very dangerous. Unbelievably, I'm getting the hang of this. Shit. <laughs> I'm on loop four now. Um, better dash, more bullets for enemies. Stronger... Okay, let's do that. Better damage. I find that just like getting stuck in immediately is very useful to, to destroy enemies like that before they get a chance to shoot, which does seem, does seem to be a few seconds before they do that. Ow, that really hurt. Last one as well. I should point out that the bonuses it gives you every level are random. And even if you start again, it's always it's just random, which is, gives it a tiny, tiny bit of rogue lightery. Uh, well, the boomers are starting to really get on my dick. Ooh. Get careful. Boom. Boom. That's okay, I'm fine. You just mustn't let the too many enemies build up, otherwise you, you've got no chance. Ah, flipping neck. I didn't wait for the, the cycle to go around. And I'm dead! Loop count five. Uh, let's see if I've got this high score table. Nope, not even close. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, check out my Buy Me A Coffee if you enjoyed it, and want to say thanks and help the channel do better. And check out the Ludum Dari 47 playlist for more in this series. And as usual, do subscribe to Randomized User for larks and that. I'll see you next time.